Ele vem aqui, após aqui para o Pebo Harold. Hát előbb-utóbb nem tudtam elköszönni, mert sajnos a videóm héten leállt. De szerencsére meg tudtam tartani az adatokat így. Tankolt. Így majd folytatom a bajtam. És én nem akkor történt a baj, amikor. Hmm, amikor harc volt. Need to defend your home? Shoot down passers by from a distance? We have what you need. They have to. But your backers shall always not give up. And then, uh, give this remedy to them. But I'm so good. You can make that. Hold on. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think more valo video. But that worthless Uncas still. Lovely that is. We get nothing for this job except our fee. There's no fee. No one hired us for this. What do you mean? We're bloody mercenaries. So what? We can only act when we've been paid. What about free will? I'm not saying we're not free to act as we desire. You're saying our sole motivation. Payment in this case exists outside of us, which is necessarily incompatible with personal freedom. What you're advocating is hard determinism. I'm not. I'm simply questioning the efficacy of undertaking a significant personal risk, as in performing an armed robbery, when we gain nothing of value. Well, define value. This robbery may constitute little in terms of intrinsic value, but it's given us excitement, on-the-job training, and life experience, as well as building morale and this free decor. Its extrinsic value is difficult to even quantify. Well, now you're talking about moral justification. I'm not going to argue teleology versus deontological. to refrain from defending ourselves until an outside agent has employed us to do so? No. The survival imperative transcends any question of causality. Let's get it. At least you be... Watch out! The bug has got a... Go with me. Go with me. This should be more than enough to convince this little hamlet to send aid to the dwellers. I believe Samuel awaits you at the town gates to express that very sentiment.
esteemed citizens of Brightwall. Today, we demonstrate the generous nature of our fair town. For too long have our mountain neighbors suffered in silence. And now, we extend a helping hand. But this effort would not have been possible without the courage and determination of one man, the son of the old hero king. From this day, we shall know you as the hero of Bright War. Before yes. you leave, we ask of you one favor. As we pledge ourselves to you, so we hope you will pledge to return Brightwall to its former glory and reopen the academy which your father founded. I will. Very, very good, very good. I expected nothing less from you. These volunteers shall carry the supplies to the dweller camp. They may have them with our blessing. I hope you will return one day, not just as our hero, but as our king. Yeah. Getting ready. I want to push fast. belly with our food stuff. Oh, Jonathan is going to be so excited. You got it. Oh, this is brilliant. Brilliant. You see, Jonathan, I told you, didn't I? Oh, this is going to be amazing. This is going to be so mind-bogglingly amazing. People are going to say, right, this is mind-bogglingly amazing. Put it in the place of honor, would you? Okay. Right, let me see. Instructions. Prepare your display area in pride of place. Mm -hmm. Done that. Ensure that your garden ornaments are facing your gargoyle with unbroken line of sight. Mm -hmm. Check. Face your gargoyle, stand confident, take a deep breath, and say in an authoritative voice. <laughs>
Don't play with matches. <laughs> you should never move an injured person. Start every day with a healthy breakfast. Always look both ways before crossing a road. Oh, this is the greatest day of my life. Wait till I tell my family. Oh, I forgot I stopped talking to them. Oh, who cares about them? This is mind-bogglingly amazing! Sick. In the morning when I wake up and I stumble out of bed I put my party hat on my head, head. Yes, I should have used it. And it doesn't much matter if the sky is rain or shine Because, because I know there's a happy fellow all the time, the time. They said the gnome is a happy fellow almost all the time They, they said the gnome is a happy fellow all the time Oh, I travel round the land and wherever I roam. From the mountains in the distance to the hills I home. I raise my head and say in a loud, resounding voice, Being a gnome is All the gnomes on the right say, Pointy little hat! Pointy little hat! Pointy little hat! And all the gnomes on the left say, two foot tall! Two foot tall! Two foot tall! And again, lads! In the morning when I wake up, I tumble out of bed. I put my pointy hat on my little pointy head. Oh, we'll make it for this. You have done a wonderful thing for those poor people in the mountains. They will be overjoyed when you arrive with the aid that you required for them. Our hero returns, bringing good tidings <laughs> and supper. <laughs> Damn thing doesn't open. How do you open? Oh well, I never thought you'd actually get it. Tell you the truth, Boulder. We've been blessed, my friend. We have made an alliance that has already brought us life. One day. It will bring us much more. We require but one more offering before we fight at your side. Ages. Order. Promise to restore these mountains yeah. to their full glory and to protect our right to dwell in them. And promise you will bring nothing but the fiercest justice upon Logan's head. I promise. Then yeah. may we be carried into the castle by the dark storms of fury. We'll have to wait a little longer for that. It's still just us against a whole army. We need to recruit more people. Mm, or is it fair to come over all logical and sensible? Well, you have brought us a feast, and we are free to hunt again. We'll just keep on eating and drinking till you're good and ready. Right, Border? Yeah. <laughs> he couldn't be happier. You have made an important ally today. The revolution cannot hope to succeed without fighters such as Sabine and his people on your side. You have the beginnings of an army now.
Asyik testing Pipis itu kiri cik Mi ngayu bles Pipis Oh Pipis Oh Köszönöm, hogy van 70, 50 kell legalább. A döntések egy kis módosítás fogok tenni. A módosítás pedig úgy, hogy úgy, hogy egy csőkölt benne elvárják. I couldn't be prouder of what you've accomplished here, but there is still much for us to do, and I know just where to find our next allies. I'll meet you at the station in Mispeak when you're ready. The revolution is just getting started. The most interesting thing has to be a rather odd object I'm convinced must have some historical value. I'm sure my cousin Saul would know what it is. He works over at the Bright Wall Academy, you see. Very bright fellow. You wouldn't mind taking it to him, would you? I'd do it myself, but all that digging has done my back in. Okay. Isn't that long? Wonderful. How kind you are. Here it is. Annyiban fogok tartani az előző vigyázás mód, ugye, hogy az Edge of the World kívánja még. Hát átolvasztom utána, hogy hogyan milyen tisztséget hozott, az alapján fog meghozni. On that wall, you'll find the contract representing the promises that you've made to the people of Albion. Your contract with Samuel is there, for example. I placed the contract representing your promise to Sabine on the wall. Well, the Book of Heroes takes a decidedly surreal turn regarding this room. It claims that there are other parallel worlds and even you can come pie of the decade only time will tell I 
keep that one for myself. You handle that dough like an artist. Ooh, that crust is divine. High mastery, right there. You're a whiz with a rolling pin. Good pie. Brilliant. Keep them coming. Yeah. You handle that dough like an artist. I might keep that one for myself. Everywhere. Oh, it's you. Thank goodness. Y you've got to help me. My gnomes. My beautiful gnomes. With their little hats. I have to get them back. I just have to, you understand? I, I have to! Okay. Oh, thank you. I knew I could count on you. All my darling gnomes have deserted me. Well, all but one, and he's right in the house. His name's Lionel. He always had a chip on his shoulder, that one. I tried patching it, but it didn't do any good. Please, try and talk some sense into him. And don't worry, you won't have any trouble finding him. You, you just need to follow his... <laughs> Okay. Voice. Do you ever shoot that gun you have? Or are you just compensating for something? What happened? I heard your gun, and Lionel suddenly appeared out here. But did, did you shoot him? Huh. However you did it, you, you have to find the others. Hunt them down, wherever they are. See, if I can get them all back, I can work out a way to fix this. Your mother! <laughs> You shut it! I told you never to mention her! <laughs> you can help. I am going to write a letter to their customer relations department. A strongly worded letter. Oh, thank you. From my cousin, is it? She's always sending me odd things she finds around the house. Although this one does look quite intriguing. I shall have a closer look when I have the time.
Lander. Estoyado para adorar lo que es aquí todo. No sé qué es este tema, me tengo que Tak jsem si svědčil, že nejvíce. Zatím už jen čelí. Ahoj, guns of the chief. Kde jsi kde hongo? Most expensive prices ever, yes. But you're the richest you've ever been. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I hate you. Csódos módot kezdtem először. I'm a wandering trader, trying to get to Brightwall Village, but the routes become infested with marauding renegades. They're bound to rob me and kill me. Or kill me and rob me. I'm actually not bothered about the order. You look pretty tough, though. Could you escort me there? I'll be able to pay you something once I reach the safety of Brightwood. Okay. You'll take me? Thank you. I'll make it worth the trouble. Really, I will.
What's the hold up? Let's be on our way. I've been a wandering trader all my life. My mother was too. Couldn't tell you who my father was. Nor could my mother, actually. <laughs> It's almost certain that we'll get attacked by bandits. I don't know why the king doesn't do something about it. Renegades, don't let them kill me. I'm ready when you are. Let's go. It's a living anyway. Buying stuff in one place, selling it in another. Keep your eyes peeled for renegades and bandits. There's always more than your bargain. Questionable things, but also extraordinary things. Let's go. Can't you feel the call of the open road? I read a book the other day by some bloke called Dan Moria. <laughs> yeah, really. What rubbish it was. Stop them before they kill us both. Eventually, I hope to open a more permanent shop. Billy's Bazaar of the Bazaar. I thought I'd call it. Just need to get some weird goods and that to justify the name. I love the life of a wandering trader. There's just so much, well, wandering. Bit of trading as well. See you later then. We've made it. Thank you. Here's a little something for you. Oh, and come back later if you like when I've got my stall set up. I'll give you a good price. It's on sale. A great price for something like that. The more like you that. spend, the better goods I can afford to stock. You might want to rethink. On his heat. Come see what's on sale. 
Ah, you found a sailor. This is them kind of Ah, hello. The armory is at your disposal. With a rifle, a skilled shooter can hit targets at significant range and inflict considerable damage. Could it see it soon yet? Don't make me beg. We've got something for every budget. Show me, show me. Yeah, all right. Thanks for that. Oh, hello. Finest products in Bright Wall available here. Let me clothe you. You won't regret it. Oh yeah. Oh. You should keep checking my shop. Oh, you never know really when I might have a sale on. Watch out for sales. You could get a real bargain. Das ist das with our foodstuffs. I have to collect a rat You are too strong for me. Mr. Drop right again. Oh, that's a zombie.
Smile tutto. Oh, ma smacchiniti. Hello again! You delivered that package from my cousin, didn't you? Well, it turned out to be a rather ancient artifact, a key to a secret door in this very academy. Most exciting. I was all ready to open it and investigate, but Samuel, my boss, said it might be dangerous. He suggested I find a capable escort. Is, uh, you certainly look right for the job. Will you come with me? It could be the greatest discovery of the century. Brilliant! Let's go then, shall we? Knowing my luck, all we'll find is a list of goods traded to some long dead merchant a thousand years ago. Still, that could be interesting in itself. What did they trade in those days? Who knows? Ma, idiota. Non mi dici. Köszönöm, hogy jó utat, aki nem követ. Mert idéja volt, ami nem követ szinkén. of arcane law or a book on ancient science that will enable us to build a flying machine or something though that is unlikely i have to admit what talk nato guys
I really hope this turns out better than the last expedition I went. This could be most interesting. Who knows what strange wonders and curious artifacts may be found behind this mysterious door. Wow, look at this place. It's stacked with rare books and ancient tomes. It's like a librarian's paradise. Thank you so much for getting me here safely, but you can go now. I'm going to stay here for a while and read and catalogue everything. It's going to be thoroughly marvellous. He's in need. He kills all. Most of the guys are dead.
There's us. Grease one large round cake. Combine flour, eggs, butter, sugar, and salt in a large mixing bowl. Beat thoroughly, then pour mixture into cake pans. Bake for 30 minutes and allow to cool. Note, this activity is, in fact, perfectly safe and most appropriate for right before your mum discovers you've done any of the other things described in my book. Customers have been good to me, so I'm good to them. Finally, a little money coming into this town. A little's even coming through my door. I wasn't always a miserable beggar. I used to be quite a carefree one. Hát ez elég is lesz majd. Csak nem most. I like to think about puppies, about slowly, slowly crushing them. Shut the fuck up. convinced us to keep the chickens. Thank you for what you did. Though I will say it was a strain on our marriage for a little. That it was. I didn't want to let the birds out. And she said chickens weren't meant to be cooped up. Of course, I said the definition of coop. 
is a place you keep chickens. Finally, we came up with a compromise that worked for both of us and, more importantly, made the chickens happy. We don't let them run free, but we let them do the next best thing, run races. First of its kind, though I expect it will catch on. <laughs> Gives the chickens an outlet for their aggression and allows us to maintain security and control. Would you like to bet on the next race? It's very simple. I speak to Horace by the track. All profits go to, well, <laughs> mostly they go to buying more feed. They're voracious eaters. Ah, to nie jak jej cieć, nie kłótą od lego, la. Come! Come, imposing and dignified. The Colonel is... That Oris is an odd sort, and I caught him chatting up my wife, but he is the best cut caster in Albion. Ooh, this enigmatic bird. And they're off! Mr. Cluggles is making those other birds eat his dust. Why do these chickens do what they do? Some say it's for the glory, some say it's for the feed, some say it's for the non-qualified stock options, so which is a so strange so theory, because I'm quite certain they don't get those. There's Avenger... Avenger wins! Yes! Part of me thought we'd be safer killing them all. And then part of me just thought it'd be fun to kill loads of chickens. <laughs> How do you got a bit? Oh, most momentum. Okay, and you both Mara, because I voted you, some of them. 